It's time for the Matt LeCroy Show on Fox Sports 1460. Brought to you by the Holiday Inn Middletown. Now with today's show, here's Terry Byram. For the final game of the three-game series with the Hartford Yard Goats, I'm with manager Matt LeCroy. And Matt, last night, uh, the first time this year that's happened, you guys leading a game into the eighth inning and lose. Yeah, that was a uh, you know, tough night for, for the bullpen. Uh, Lopey was outstanding. Uh, offensively, we... We drove the ball and and uh, had a big lead on them, and uh, we just couldn't throw the ball over the plate, and uh, we fell victim to walks, and then a big hit by by Hartford with the grand slam, and you got to tip your cap. They stayed in it, battled, and 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 took the lead and won. Well, we'll start with Ronaldo Lopez and uh, thirteen strikeouts, and he looked sensational last night. Yeah, he was he was pretty good. I mean, he he gave up two runs on some on a breaking ball and a changeup that he didn't finish the hitter off, but he made some really good adjustments and, and pretty much cruised and struck out thirteen and, and attacked the strike zone. So really quality outing. He held the runners good. So a lot of good things from Ronaldo, and and unfortunately he didn't get the win, but uh, he pitched really well. And then Wilmer Defoe couple of home runs that he really squared up not high fly balls or cheapies but he hit those hard yeah he's he's starting to hopefully that'll that'll get him going i mean he's been taking really good batting practices and uh hopefully this will be a good start for him but he, he drove the ball nicely and and he got to another hit so if he can get going and have raffi going up top we should we do some damage and then Kevin Keyes in his second game, he already has a couple of hits, and last night he hit a home run into the bullpen. Yeah, uh, you know, he had some struggles in AAA and wasn't playing it consistently, and now he'll get a chance to play. And I think he's got a chance to carry our club at times. You know, he's a veteran hitter, and uh, hopefully he can, he can help us out here down the stretch. You know, offensively, uh, things are coming around. You had a couple of games in Richmond with 10 hits, six runs and 10 hits last night, and we've already talked about the pitching, but o- overall the offense is starting to come around again. Yeah, I think with, uh, you know, Kesey and, and Soto in our lineup, it kind of gives us a little length that lengths out our lineup, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, we'll, the guys up top can get hot and uh, have opportunities for those guys to drive and runs. bossick has been really good. And, some guys have uh, got some big hits for us. So uh, right now our lineup's in good shape. we got to stay healthy, get Collier back, and uh, that'll lengthen it out even more. And uh, guys got to step up in some people's absences. But uh, overall, we've done starting to do better. And uh, tonight it's Tyler Hapes on the mound, and he has thrown really well for you this year. Yeah, hopefully he'll give us a, a chance to win. I mean, it's last night after last night's loss. Uh, we need to come back today and – go out and battle and, and put pressure on them, and hopefully he'll go out and, and throw the ball over and get outs and give us a chance. We mentioned yesterday that we'll take questions, and you can email me at tbyram at senatorsbaseball.com or reach me at Twitter at HBG Sends Radio, and we already have two. We have one from Jim from Harrisburg that wants to know how it's decided what you guys wear on a daily basis at home. Oh, uh, well, uh, you know, the biggest thing is I get with – you Terry and we talk about a uniform schedule uh but uh you know right now we let the starting pitchers pick the hats but we have a schedule that's set up for us before the season of which jerseys we wear now it used to be pitchers pick the jerseys but now even in the big leagues for the most part and for every team jerseys are pretty much selected by the front office yeah I think it's the right you know the right move uh and also gives the other team an opportunity to wear something different or plan for plan for what we're wearing so uh, i like it but that we've given them a little leeway with the hat but uh i like the jerseys being scheduled out and then uh, doug from dillsburg wants to know uh what you do to keep the uh, clubhouse loose well i'll tell you uh one of the things that that we like to do and and uh, i think it's you know even after tough nights like like last night you know we celebrate birthdays so uh you know i think that's uh, one way we can do it and i know uh, it's your birthday tonight, Terry, and, and on behalf of uh, on my of my club and all my coaches and my players, we want to wish you happy birthday, <laughs> Terry. <laughs> all right, I see you guys came together to do this. I, I'm proud of you, Perry. I'm I'm proud of both of you. That's it for the Matt Lee Croy Show.